Hey Aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 589 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go, Lexi. So we've been having some very interesting discussions over on the reef, and Buddy started one about this whole notion of, you know, are you doing the same thing now as an adult that you thought you would do as a child? And what is it about that disconnect between, um, on the one hand, like Earl suggested, you know, these huge dreams that we have, the big imaginations that children have, versus, you know, what we actually end up doing. And, you know, I was weighing in that, in a, in a sense, in the opposite way, meaning that children actually have very, very small worlds, and that once you grow up and you go to college and you read and you learn about the world, actually the world becomes this much bigger place where so many, so many other things are possible. And you might not have known about that when you were a kid because, you know, I think when we're kids, we're just sort of very focused on our neighborhood and our family and doing what mom or dad do. And, you know, the second part of the question was, why are so many people, hey, Lexi, over here. <laughs> why are so many people in jobs, thank you, that they don't like or that is not a good fit for them? And, you know, a lot of people have been weighing in on that one. Certainly, you know, Susan had a lot of interesting comments about, you know, it could be low self-esteem, it could certainly just be timing of life, you know. I mean, that this, I always think of that Grandma Moses, you know, she didn't start painting until I think her 70s. And sometimes we have a life that seems so frustrating, we try and we try and we try and things don't happen the way we expect them or want them to. And then one day they do, and at that moment in time, all of those previous years, even decades of frustration and trying and attempts and everything um, suddenly make sense where they didn't make sense when we were in the middle of all of the effort. So, you know, I, I think the biggest thing is to not get on our case. That's one of my favorite things is get off my case because there's, there's so much more that I cannot know. And so to try and, and make like things are a problem if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing only adds more pressure. Whereas to stop instead and just say, wow, you know, I think this is what I want, but it's not happening right now. So I'm either gonna keep plugging away at it or I'm gonna put it on hold for a while. And, um, you know, to realize that all of these things come into play. Certainly in my life, low self-esteem has been a factor and timing has been a factor. Um, but I'm gonna leave you with a great suggestion that William had. He, he mentioned that Lou Holtz has this uh, list of 100 things he wants to do in his life. And William said, you know, I, he thinks a lot of people don't do what they really wanna do because they don't know how much time they have here. And maybe some people think, oh, I have time later to get that done. But Lou Holtz made, made this list of 100 things he wants to do in his life and actually, he completed it and he started on his second list of 100 things. And William also posted a video uh, that's very inspiring there. So I invite you all to join us over on the reef and continue that discussion. And watch the video and have a great weekend. Lots to think about. Mostly get off your case and have a great time this weekend. Aloha everybody and Malama Pono. Hey Lexi. Good girl. Ready?